there's Fourth Street and our, our wonderful uh, arts district in the city. Mm -hmm. And this is some uh, kind of uh, uh, cultural art that was produced with some of the colors and traditions that are evident in the uh, Hispanic culture, which I think the, these young ladies did a wonderful job. So you have this museum piece, literally we're at the uh, Bowers Museum now. Uh, what's going to happen to this car? This car right now, uh, we've had a number of uh, opportunities to exhibit it, so it's going to be at the Santa Ana Art Walk on the 2nd, where some of the students will actually be painting on the car during the Art Walk uh, in the center of the exhibit, so we're looking, the kids are very excited to be doing that and be part of the art community here in Santa Ana. Today it's about our students' artwork and their talents and their skills with uh, different mediums of art, and what other place can we possibly ask for than the Bowers Museum? You have exhibits that come to the Bowers Museum from all over the world and, and people pay money from all places in California and I'm sure other states to come and, and see exhibits here in, at the Bowers and here we have our own students artwork being displayed in this incredible building, this incredible museum. What happens with the money that's raised at this and, many, and other events that you right, guys do? Right. Well, the money is shared with our students and with our teachers. So, and for special programs also. So, there's five different kinds of scholarships. In fact, the application period is now through next week, and so we really encourage students to apply. And we have. It, scholarships ranging from $500 to a few thousand dollars. So our goal is to help fund students that are going on to college and universities. And then of course there's some teacher uh, programs also that benefit special programs with teachers. And then at times there's um, certain special programs that um, that we are approached with and we love funding those programs because we love our teachers and we love our students. It's online so they go to the Santa Ana Unified uh, School District website or they can go to the Santa Ana Public Schools Foundation website and then the whole application process goes through that. How does it feel that your piece not only won best in show for the whole contest if you will, that your work has been displayed at a world-class museum at the Bowers Museum? feels really amazing. I would have never expected it. It's, it's a great honor. This is a huge honor for students. And one of the things that we really want to do is get not only students here, but their parents. This museum is available as an amazing resource to our Santa Ana community. Every Sunday is free to our Santa Ana residents. And we want them to be able to take participation and feel like this is part of them. So this is a, just a chance for kids to be honored as part of the community as well. Our students uh, have tremendous skills and this is a way to display what they do, especially in the, in the world of art. We believe that the programs we've instituted, like the Arts Conservatory at Santa Ana High School, uh, uh, as an example, is a way to, reach, to show what our kids are capable of doing and are doing. We are here with Richard Santana from Santiago Elementary, third grade. And we have your students here as well. I have here Daniel Snyder and Josh Otello. Uh, how did you get the uh, idea, the inspiration, they tell you do this or they give a kind of a general idea and you did it yourself? Um, it gave us an idea of our mind to use our imagination of what things we like and what things we don't like. We need support from our community, whether it's a, a non-profit organization, whether it's a, uh, the Bowers Museum. Uh, we all need to work together because at the end of the day it's about our students.